please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News channel, the story for today is he has recently reinvented himself as an outspoken YouTube personality, spreading skepticism about COVID vaccines and blaming the US for the war in Ukraine. But Russell Brand was seen taking time off his controversial ramblings as he enjoyed the outdoors by rowing near Henley on Thames, Oxfordshire on Saturday. The comedian, 46, bundled up in a black gilet worn over a grey jumper and donned black joggers on his bottom half during the outing with his pooch bear. Russell, who has over 5.5 million YouTube subscribers, stood out in a vibrant yellow beanie hat, while soaking up the sun in his canoe. The star looked in high spirits as he wore his dark tresses down and in their trademark curls, while sporting grey stubble. While enjoying the relaxing outdoor activity, Russell decided to help a cyclist cross the river by loading his bike onto the boat and rowing him across. His German shepherd then climbed back in and he continued along the river near his three pounds. Three million home where he lives with wife Laura Gallica, 34, and children Mabel, 5, and Peggy, 3. Russell regularly shares snaps and videos of his beloved dog Bear, which he previously describes as a tornado of fur, to his Instagram, as well as his cats. The online personality also stopped to take selfies with two women who had seen him from the riverbank. Russell, who is well known for his Big Brother's Big Mouth presenting gig, ditched Hollywood to live a wholesome life with his family. Russell and his wife, TV presenter Kirsty Gallagher's younger sister Laura, are understood to have recently taken ownership of the Crown Inn, a pub in Pischel, near Henley-on-Thames. Nestled in the picturesque Oxfordshire countryside, the Grade II listed coaching house, which dates from the 16th century, comes with a detached barn which can host weddings for up to 80 people. The couple, who tied the knot in August 2017 have found success in their other company, which specializes in TV production. The couple shared a £1.4 million dividend in 2020, according to company accounts, despite famously calling for a socialist egalitarian revolution during a Newsnight interview in 2015, Mr. Brand has amassed a net worth of about £15 million thanks to his business interests and a string of luxury properties. Russell quit alcohol and drugs in 2003, telling The Guardian in a 2013 interview, My life has improved immeasurably. I have a job, a house, a cat, good friendships and generally a bright outlook. The actor successfully tackled his issues with Class A substances following more than a dozen brushes with the law, amongst them a high-profile arrest by the Metropolitan Police for stripping off during an anti-capitalist May Day protest in London's teeming Piccadilly Circus. Then a precocious MTV reporter, he attracted further controversy by turning up for work dressed as Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, shortly after hardline Islamic terrorists flew two passenger planes into the World Trade Center. Russell won wider international acclaim thanks to his role as highly strung, drink and drug addled rock star Aldous Snow in 2010 comedy Get Him to the Greek. But he admits the character, who aggressively snorts cocaine and suffers a fraught relationship with a vain, fame-seeking father mirrored his own backstory. I was very lucky to work with producer, Judd Apatow and they ransacked my life, I told them all about my life and my childhood, he explained in 2017. Sometimes it was a bit weird, I remember doing it quite a lot of fake coke which was a bit triggering. However Russell insisted he has no desire to relive his excessive past, quipping, FK pleasure. And God knows I've tried, that is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.